Welcome to Pro Tools First for Beginners Part 4. Remember to go to creatingtracks.com to get more exciting tracks just like these. So this time you're going to be adding some drums. We're going to make some noise. So get ready, get your old track up, open it up, and let's make a start. Okay, so we're going to start with where we stopped. We have our guitar and our vocals recorded, and we are just exported it. So let's have a just have a quick listen. Let's just press this button to rewind back to the start and press play. Brilliant. So we've still got everything we need. Our click is still on mute which is good. So today we're going to add some drums and make this really exciting. So what we're going to do is we're going to go into track and new. But this time we're going to create a stereo track which is going to have the effect that goes across like both the speakers and it's going to be like really big, have a great sound. And rather than audio track, we're going to choose an instrument track. What an instrument track is, is a track that lets us use MIDI, but at the same time lets us hear the sound all within one track. It's really exciting. So we're going to say create. Um, if you don't know what MIDI and stuff means, have a look at it. It's a big subject for us to cover, but I'm going to show you how it all works and how to make a sound. So we have a new track here called Instrument 1. Double click on it, and let's call this drum. So I type it in and I say okay we're now going to use the package called expand 2 that we downloaded at the start um, of this web episodes so we're going to go into inserts which is over here and inserts basically means we're inserting something into the track so it's like adding salt to food so we're going to insert a multi-channel plugin now we're going to go down to Instrument, because it's an instrument track, and we've got Expand 2 there. So we click on Expand 2, and it opens up this magical thing. Now Expand 2 has a whole bunch of instruments that we can play. So we go here to where it says Factory Default, and if you press that button at the side there, you will have a whole range that you can go up and scroll up and see there's heaps of instruments, heaps everything you can dream about and we'll cover quite a few in this web episodes that we would be doing so let's go to number 26 drums and let's just select oh let's say the urban beat just one of the many drum kits that are that exist here so let's select urban beat and it tells us that we've got some kicks and there's some snares and there's some hi-hats and toms and clap and cowbells and all kinds of stuff okay so let's close this and let's go into the drum. So we now got to play with MIDI. So what we're going to do at the bottom here, you can see something called a MIDI editor. You can go down here and press this button there and you can see the MIDI editor. That closes it. If you can't find it, go on the track, right click and go all the way down and you'd see something called open in MIDI editor. Right. So this MIDI editor has a whole bunch of cool sounds here. So we're going to go way down over here. That sounds like a kick to me. So I've got a kick. That sounds like a snare. That sounds like a cymbal. Cool. So we're going to go back to the start and we're going to be inputting some track information. So there's a couple of things you need to worry about. I'm going to be doing my drums in uh, blocks of one beat each. So I need to see that my settings are set to one beat. So the first thing I do, I go to grid here. And there's a little thing there which I click on and I choose my setting to be, be half a note and that changes it that way. Or I can choose my setting to be quarter notes and that puts a grid every quarter note which is exactly what I want. And then I've got to see that here I have my setting onto the finger because the finger puts stuff in. So I go onto here and if I double click, ooh, it's jumped up. It often does that. You've got to drag it back down all the way to one. 
Yeah, and if I have a listen to the track, yeah, you've got the doom of the drum at the start. So I've got the drum there. I've got a kick there. I'm going to put my snare over here on two. It's jumped again. Move it back up. I'm going to take this and I'm going to put it on here by double clicking. Jump up, put it back down. So if you want to make it a bit bigger, you can go to the button here, or oh, there's a button here. If you click on the up part, it makes it bigger. If you click on the down part, it makes it smaller. So let's make it a little bit bigger so that I know what I'm doing. And I'm going to add another track there. Click up, let's move it back. So let's have a listen. Cool. Now let's add some hi hat to that. So let's go and have a listen to that. That sounds like hi hat. Now the hi hat I want to have every eighth note rather than every quarter note. So I go back up here and I choose eighth note. And then here we go. There we go. There. Cool. So that's my drums. Let's have a listen. Cool. Is that good? Let's have a listen again. Yeah. I like that. So what I'm going to do now is I'm going to close down this MIDI editor, push it down, and I'm going to play with this track here and make it big and just copy that same drum rhythm. So I'm going to go over here. And this makes my screen a little bit bigger that I can work with. There we go. Just make it big enough so that I've sort of one bar each so I can see what I'm doing. I click on that, I right click and I say copy. I go over here. Oh look, I can't quite click here, can I? It's because it's on the hand. I want to get a pointer. So I go here and I choose a pointer. And I click on there and I right click and I go paste. Right click, paste, right click, paste. And I keep on pasting all the way through till I get all I need. So it may be easier for me to just to use the uh, the command the command V key on my keyboard if it takes me too long. And I can also copy a whole bunch of them like this. I can take four of them. And I can say control copy and go there. Control paste. I need a few more. Do I? No, that seems like it's fine. Let's have a listen. Cool. Now the ending part has a little bit too much there, isn't it? Now I want to go back to the other hand, but I can't find the other hand. So what? I'm going to teach you something else that's cool here. If you go on here and click right on the top, you get to use everything that's here. So if you're on the top, it becomes a cursor. If you're down, it becomes a hand. So we're going to go to the hand and we're going to double click. And it immediately opens it in the MIDI editor. And I can select all the stuff that I don't want, which is all of this here. And I hit the delete key on my keyboard and all this here as well. I don't want that one though, that one there. Deletes and that one there. Oh, I can't select that. So I go back to a single hand selector, select that, delete it. Close the MIDI editor and let's have a listen. Cool. Now let's have a listen from the start. That's sounding good, but the drums are a little bit too loud for me. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to go to a special window that we have here called the mix window. Yeah. And we get that by going to Window and Mix, and that helps us change the volumes of all the different tracks. So let's go through to pressing Play. 
window, mix, and over here, you can see the volumes of all the tracks. I'm going to pull that down a little bit. Cool. And that's the drums. And we've mixed the drums in. We can turn it off record. So what we have now is a track with the drums in it, which is pretty cool, isn't it? So along the way, I'm going to be teaching you quite a few different tricks. You've learned about the two different types of windows here, the mix and the edit window. You've learned about what happens with these little cursors here. And you've going to learn something else, which is new now, which is at the end of this track here. Can you hear that sound? Well, I don't need that sound, and I don't want that sound, because the track ends somewhere here. So if I go right to the end, if I have this selected on everything, and I go to the end, my cursor changes to a little kind of box. And I can hold, and I can drag, and I can edit the track. Cool. I may have a little bit that I can take off here as well. A little bit more that I can take off here. Let's go over here. There we go. Cool. So I'll be teaching, teaching you quite a few tricks along the way just for you to have a play and learn what's happening. So uh, we're now going to export the track that we have. So let's take the longest track, which is the drums. So go from the start of the drums till the end of the drums. I'm going to go File, Export, Audio Mix. And we're going to go to Twinkle Twinkle, version 2, Wave, Interleave, 16-bit, 44.1, just as standard. And choose a place to send it to, Offline Bounds, export. Right, so after I export the track, I basically open it up, find it in my finder, I open it up, and I have it sitting in my iTunes, I go back to the start, and I press play. There we go, and that's my finished track. And it sounds professional now because it's got drums and all kinds of stuff. So next time we're going to add some more things. We're going to add some bass and maybe some keyboard as well if we have some time. So thank you for joining me, and we shall meet again next week for another exciting episode. See you soon.